How's it going, everybody? Sorry about the delay. Um, my, I had to figure out how to turn off portrait lock on an iPhone S in order to get stuff going. So uh, yeah, this is uh, is Morda, and glad to be back streaming again. I did a stream, as you probably know, earlier today. That's because it was an opportunity for goodness and Diablo. But today I'm going to talk to you about Tantu Quar. So let me uh, let's make sure everything's coming through. Right. So, today I'm talking about the Tantu Quar. This was the 10th anniversary edition, and I got this from Kickstarter, which was in 2019. Um, I forget, I believe, it's, I forgot exactly when. I don't, th I don't think it was exactly a year, but it was to fund actually their um, stream, their uh, Steam version of the game. And with um, their expansion, which I forget what it was called. But they also, at that same time, pushed all of their boxed card games as well, which I almost got Oktoberfest, but ultimately decided not to, not because it wasn't cool, but because uh, I wasn't sure how the game played it because I haven't played the game, and it would have cost $100 just to get Anime Girls, so I'm like, uh, I'll play a little bit, not 100 bucks. So here we are. So I should be getting the uh, Steam code for the game and the expansion probably sometime this month. I think, I think they're doing an order of backer number, and I was one of the last backers because I backed right before the Kickstarter closed, so I'll probably get the end of uh, this month. But at that time, I will uh, show you the game also during my video game streams on Sunday. But today is my board game stream. So yes, Tantu Quar, and it's, it is their 10th anniversary of the game. And for backing, everyone got a free promo pack. So I don't know if this has just some cards to, to play with the game or enough to play the game, but it does have a ton of cards. And I know it is also a small, short game to play, so we'll find out together. So this looks like it has nine private maids, 30 general system maids, three different types, plus three general maid randomizer cards and three general maid dividers. What does that mean? No idea. We will find out. All right, let's open up this baby. But no, I just got this last week, so this is fresh off the boat. People are getting their, their keys already. Goodness is on its way. Fresh anime. All right, here we go. Let's see what's in this puppy. Oh, this is in pretty tight. Come on. I don't want to tear it. Yeah. It is jam packed with stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. All righty. So I think it's everything out of the box. Let's see what we got here. We have some large size something or others. These must be the dividers. And then we got a shit ton of cards. Let's see what that's all about. All right, so these must be the three general made dividers. Again, like as far as general maids, private maids, I don't know because I haven't played the game. I don't know the significance yet, but we're just going to look at the pretties anyway. We'll explore the game when the game comes out. So this is Winna Does Compi. Macy Apfel Compi. Linux Compi. I'm assuming, I may have to look at the word, maybe Compi means like, means like maid of the house or something, possibly. I'm guessing. I see they're general maids. They have different heart values, whatever that is. These are two system maids. I have one general maid. They have some sort of values here. And then it looks like they all have um, a chamber maid bonus. Mentioned at the bottom here. 
And then some of them have some of these other icons, like a book, a hand, cards. So this all this all gameplay stuff. I just don't know how the gameplay is. Alright, so these are dividers, separate the different types of maids. And what these are is like it's not card stock, it's cardboard stock is the difference as opposed to card stock, which is a little different. Like this has a glossy feel and it's a uh, thinner, but this is thicker and rough. This has the consistency like of a, <laughs> like a uh, toilet paper tube, whereas this actually feels like a Actually, this feels nicer actually than like a uh, TCG card because it has like a, a a film to it. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got a shit ton of ladies. We got blue ladies and, and some black ladies. So I don't know what to do with the black ladies. We'll do the black ladies last. Let's see what we got here. We have... I'll go through it and I'll try to organize it. We have... Lynn X Compi. She looks like she's just caught some fish for a master. Go get them fish. Yup, yup. Sopanacris. Man, she looks excited. It looks like we got two, three, a lot of her. Oh man, we got so much of her. We have her for days. See, that's what I mean. Like, I get so many cards. Oh, I see. But these are these are probably the general maids, three different types. Okay. So it's probably like 10 of these. Yeah. Here we have, oh yeah, hence the dividers. Haha, <laughs> makes sense. Got it. So let's organize it that way. All the ladies need their space. We'll have to look up later what compi means. All right, next up we have Macy Apple Compi. Pouring the mask, making some drinks. I mean, you gotta, wa you gotta wash it down, right? That's pretty cool. And that's one of the things that, that I have to say that drew me in, it's just how they did the art. And what's, fun, what's great is like, a lot of card games like, well, that, that do anime, like for example, like Pokemon or something, they have a really great picture, but then the background is like Faco or like non, it, like detailed. Kind of like a lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. Like they have a great picture, but the background's very basic or just like three color wall or something. But this was so much detail put into it. So we have, looks like we have 10 of these. And I wonder, it's like, I wonder if this is enough to actually play a game. I don't know. Here we have, we, Wina? Winna? I want to say Winna. Winna does compi. Uh, looks like she's also making drinks. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. She's painting. Yeah, she's painting. Yeah, that's aerosol cans. Whereas uh, her, what she's holding is a shaker that she's pouring out after she shook the drink. Like making like apple martini or something. All right, so she's painting. Make a little pictures for the master. All right, all right. So we got 10 of those. How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10, 10, 10. But then there's an extra one here. of each also. So I would actually bring it to 11. Unless, unless these are the bonus randomizer cards and these are the dividers possibly. Oh yeah, and then these are the private maids. Maybe? I think so. Okay, so, and I don't think there's any difference between these two. It's just you got a bonus one. They look exactly the same. I think so. Just add those. But again, like I just really like the feel. It's got like this glossy uh, finish to it. Like it just feels nice. 
which is now making me think, man, maybe I should have gotten the cards. I didn't realize the cards were like just production wise uh, above the art. So uh, such good quality. All right. So then we got these must be the nine private maids. So we have 11 of each general maid. Dividers for each general maid separate. And then we have nine private maids. So these each one should be unique then, which looks like they are. All right. So this one is a ghost maid, Spectral Hotness, Annette Thane, who's a private maid. And you see at the bottom, they have like a special ability and the chambermaids of special ability. There's a chambermaid bonus on generals. It looks like there's end of game bonus on the private maids. And then whatever these symbols mean for gameplay, same with the hearts and the number. We'll have to find out later. All right. Next we have Ignis Carpenter. Man, she looks like she's ready to go. Tackle the world. This is a little sister maid. She makes you discard love cards from your hand. Why would she do that? Why would she deny? All right, next up we have Edith Shearing. Looks like she's got her game on. Another private maid, inventor maid. Oh, I see, she's, she's at writing code. Alrighty. Next up we got Helen Fontanelle. Fontanelle. She is, looks like writing in a diary. And this is a assistant maid. Next up, <laughs> we have Catherine Ligger. She is a, a counselor maid. I mean, she, that is, she, she looks like she's a pretty good counselor. And of course, another private maid. What could she help you with? That is the question. All right, next we have Chiffon Lodanini. Ludeni. Definitely, if you can, I'm probably butchering pronunciations. This is a handy girl maid. I mean, look at her. She's, how, how could she hold so many plates? That is just crazy. And of course, a private maid. Another private private yeah private maid <laughs> uh, here's a healing maid cecilia st Clair. she'll make you all better we got two more next up is fled freders oh frederica Schultz. That's a uh, pretty snazzy outfit. And this is a senior maid. Looks like she can move other maids around. And the last private maid is a sweeper maid. Sorry about the camera. Lenore Abreu. She looks like she is a uh, taking care of business. Boom. Yeah, so it looks like in this game, like when you play this game, you play, I know you play exclusively with all made cards. It's just where you have the card means different things. So it sounds like you could, like this probably different area in the game, they could say, oh, they're in your private chamber versus not. 
if it counts as a love card versus not. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it counts as a love card that counts as points. Um, but I would have to look up the rules. And they all have the same back, so you're just like drawing cards and then, you know, it's, it is a card game. It's, but if I recall, it's play with all maids. So it's just how you manipulate the maids to do different things. Kind of like if you're playing um, Love Letter, you're playing with all people of the royal house, but then depending on what you do with the cards, you do different things in the game, right? But yeah, this is really cool looking cards. I'll have to look up if I can play actually with these cards. But like I said, in any case, I will be able to play, uh, and I'll of course stream uh, when I get my Steam code that has the uh, core game of Tentacuar in addition to the expansion um, I got as well. Um, which I forget the name of off the top of my head because there are, you know, just if you're playing the card game, there's like 10, at least 10 or something different expansions. Like I said, I almost got Oktoberfest. But uh, that's pretty cool stuff. Yes, I have to see how this plays later. We'll take another look at the late. We'll take another look at all the ladies. And then uh might call it have this be a short stream. We'll see. So again we have Heck, I got a fish. And then, can I pour you a drink? And the, hey, can I draw something for you? And these are all, the blue are all general maids, the black are all private maids. We have the sweeper maid, senior maid, healing maid, handy girl maid, counselor maid, assistant maid, inventor maid, little sister maid, and ghost made. Yep, and again, so what I'm showing is the cards that are where it came in the 10th anniversary promo pack, 10 years of Tanto Coir. And I believe the starting to actually to launch another Kickstarter as well, but I'm just looking forward to stuff that should be getting later this month. Yeah, buddy. Well, cool. Well, uh, sorry for this, the uh, late start and the um, short stream um, this evening. Um, a lot of today was really seeing how... I'll let you look at some ladies while I'm talking. Get back in the groove and, and navigate any technical difficulties and get a feel for how long stuff when I talk through it, as well as ad hoc streams like I did earlier today, uh, Diablo 3. Check that out if you missed it. Um, but this would be on a regular basis. So every Saturday at 4 p.m. Central will be a board game stream. And then every Sunday, 4 p.m. Central, will be a video game stream. And you can see details for each on my Twitch page. But, uh, and if there's ad hoc stuff, I could do that as well. It just, the scheduled stuff will be Saturdays and Sundays. It's very crisp. Indeed, it's crisp. Well, cool. Well, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. And uh, for the VOD of this 
viewing. Um, it will be available as a highlight and on YouTube within 24 hours of whenever I have streams. So expect that going forward and expect me to look into more. Now, man, can I actually play with this? Or maybe you need two promo packs. Maybe each player plays with, like maybe this is enough for one player to play, but each one needs their own deck. I don't know, I have to look it up now. My interest is peaked, as a Bayonetta would say. Well, uh, this, this is Winna saying, signing off.